this film's kind of there's a lot of western elements in here, and you did the proposition yeah. a few years ago. So I'm mm. really a big fan of that genre. And those kind of films. Oh yeah, I mean I was I was brought up watching John Wayne and uh, James Stewart and all them, you know, and you know it's a it's a films. I mean I was lucky enough to do Cold Mountain with Anthony Mengello and. Uh, I remember the first time dressing up in all the gear, the Confederate gear, and getting on an horse. And I just, I loaded the gun with the blanks and I rode down the ice street there that they built this kind of western town. And uh, and I just let the gun go. I was like a little kid, you know. And it, the Proposition was one of my favourite films, you know. Uh, John Elcote made that. And it was, again, it was Frontiersman, you know. Mm. It was that kind of feel, vibe about it. And this one's got the same kind of vibe for me, you know. Uh, and working with Ian Sharp again, I worked with him in the 80s on Robin of Sherwood, you know, and uh, Ian's a great lover of the West and he's, he's very passionate about that. So that was all, all I needed, really, with a good script, great script, and uh, Tamara Morrison, you know, yeah. so that was it. There's a kind of long stretch of the film where you, you're quiet, basically, while you're searching for yeah. Tamara. Is that, do you enjoy the challenge of doing that, kind of acting without words? And... Yeah, it's cinematic, you know, uh, uh, it's all there for you. It's not, a lot needs to be said at any points, you know. Um, uh, it's great when the director's brave enough to, and the writer's brave enough to actually let their moments go. And that's suspense and that's hopefully drama, you know. Mm. How did you kind of uh, get on with Tomorrow as well on set? Cause, um, the, great. Quite... Well, it's funny because we've, I guess we're quite similar in a way, you know, we're both we're, we're from where we're from and we've made the kind of same films. You know, Nil by Mouth is a very similar film to Once Were Warriors, mm. although they're the other side of the world. and possibly about a different culture, but the same thing really, you know. And so you're either gonna get on or you're gonna not, you know, and uh, thankfully we did. We got on very, very well. Got a lot of respect, a lot of time for the man, you know. And uh, I think the same goes for tomorrow, you know. Mm. Yeah. The, the, the fight scene that you guys have, like, mm. you're really kind of going for it. Is that kind of yeah. just the direction or were you, were you encouraged to kind of just... No, you, you go for it. I mean, it's, it's too old, I don't know, Buffalo's locking arms, you know, and... Uh, you know, we're not getting any younger, so it was messy and it was, yeah. you know, it was biting and gouging and, you know, rolling down rocks and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, obviously we weren't allowed to roll down the rocks too much, you know, but we done have we done a, a lot of that. It was a lot of the walking, a lot of the riding, a lot of the, the fighting, and uh, we were quite pleased with ourselves. We come out the other side, you know. I broke a rib, it was about, I usually break something, you know, but... But it was, you know, it was all part and parcel of it. In fact, I got hit less when I was boxing. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you, that's all part and parcel of that, you know. Mm. He's a tough old boy, you know. The scenery as well is, like, incredible. Was it kind of your first visit to, to that part of the world? Or yeah, I'd been to Australia, but, I mean, New Zealand's a totally different country from Australia. And I loved Australia. I fell in love with Australia. Um, the cities and the outback. I spent about three, four months in the outback on a proposition, you know. Mm. And I've been all probably over more, more. I've I've been all over Australia probably more than people that live there. I've I've done it right up from Cape Trev down all the way down to Brisbane and around to Melbourne and all that you know. And, and in the middle, I've been in the outback and uh, and I, I love the place to bits. I like the people. New Zealand is a different place. It's um, it's God's country. I think if there is a place, um, stunning, absolutely stunning place. You know. And I was, you know, I, t I always take my family away if I'm away a long time, and it was great for them, especially my little girl, to see that, you know.